guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa. Now it feels like a long time since I've sat down in front of the camera and done a one-on-one -on -one video about Catholicism or Christianity, but today is actually a video of that. I've been doing a lot of artsy videos because I've been going sightseeing, I've been going on trips, and I've had the luxury of being able to be filmed to go on these trips. So if you guys like those videos, please let me know if you want more one-on-one -on -one talk videos, then let me know if you prefer those. But this week's video is going to be about a feast day that's taking place on September 14th. Um, according to this calendar, September 14th is on a Friday. Now, before you freak out and you're like, how am I going to get off work? How am I going to fit a mass in on Friday? I was not prepared. Do not worry one bit. It's not a holy day of obligation, but it's a day to be recognized. The feast day on September 14th is the exaltation of the cross. This is one of the feast days of the Holy Cross. So, now let's get on with some of the history about why we celebrate the exaltation of the cross. So guys, in the year 328 AD, St. Helena, nearing the end of her life, decided to go on a pilgrimage, visiting all the holy sites that she could. One of the place being the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. During her excavation, she actually found three crosses, and they assumed that one of these three crosses was the true cross, the cross that brought Jesus the end of his life, the cross that he was crucified on. Now there are many different stories about how they identified which of these three crosses was the one that Christ was crucified on. One of the stories being that the cross still had the plaque on it that said Jesus of Nazareth. There are other stories, but the most common story is that one of the three crosses saved a person's life and brought a person back to life. They believe that the cross of Christ, when a woman touched it, a woman who was nearing her death, received healing and was saved. And a man who had passed away was dead already. They touched the cross to him and he was brought back to life. And that is one of the main reasons or stories that they use to identify the cross of Jesus Christ. Now because of these findings, St. Helena and her son St. Constantine decided to make temples on these sites. They made sites at Holy Ship. I'm saying that horribly wrong, and Mount Calvary. What's really cool is I was able to use one of these stories that I researched for this video for my archaeology class. So guys, I'm bringing God to college, don't you worry. The feast day is on September 14th, and this is simply because St. Helena and St. Constantine made those two temples. And those two temples dedication days were on September 13th and September 14th. Now these churches were dedicated not too far after 325 AD, but in the year 700 AD, the celebration became universal. So now the entire Catholic Church accepted this as a feast day. Well, the Church of was actually destroyed by the Persians in the 600 AD and also destroyed by Muslims in like 700 AD. And due to this destruction, the Holy Cross was stolen by the Persians. After it was stolen, Emperor Heraclius went on a journey to restore and take back the cross. He went on a pilgrimage. It is said that he carried it on his back. Now he's an emperor, so he has nice shoes, he has nice clothes, he has nice rings. But something along the way, as he was on his pilgrimage, something stopped him. A force that cannot be described stopped him. And he had to remove all of his garments and all of his jewelry, and he walked barefoot back to the Holy Land. Now if that is not like commemorable, if that's not something that shows you the true power of God and the true power of being a Christian and the ministry that God has given us, then I don't know what is. So guys, that was a quick little history lesson, a little lesson about why we celebrate this feast day on September 14th. If you guys want me to do any feast days that are coming up in the future, please let me know. The videos that are coming up in the next month or two are going to be awesome. I swear, I hope you guys love them because I'm super excited about making them. So next week is going to be a little bit of a chill laid back video, but trust me, this next month is going to be great on my channel. So please hit the subscribe button. Please like this video. You can turn on the bell icon and I'll notify you when my videos get posted but I really thank you for sticking around and supporting me because this is what I want to do so guys God bless I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye